Rick Sparber here. I'd like to show you how I can etch simple symbols into blocks of uh, aluminum. This piece actually is a piece of casting, but it should work just fine. And I'm, I've got here a positive electrode from a power supply that puts out 20 volts at up to 2 amps. And I have, I'm going to start with just a piece of, this is uh, UPS label paper, so it's sticky on one side, and I've punched these four holes, and just to save time, I'm showing you a finished product. I cut out with a razor around the holes, end up with a half decent looking arrow. So what I'm gonna do is stick that down on this piece of aluminum. Make sure it's down really tight. This is the part that's always tripped me up before, is making a mask uh, isn't that hard, but making sure that none of the salt water that I use for etching sneaks underneath the mask, that's a bit harder. Ah, I just realized I've got a, a dip over here, so that may cause some some problems, but well, we'll see what happens. And then here's Q-tip, and I have here just water, and then in this glass is salt water. So I've been using it all morning, so it's pretty gross, but should work. And take my negative electrode, and just start running it around here. And you can start to hear the sizzling. <coughs> yeah, the fumes are irritating. So careful about breathing them. Probably should be done outdoors. So when it stops sizzling so much, I rinse it in the clean, well, the somewhat clean water, uh, and then put another charge of salt water on there because the uh, particles of metal, the oxides do build up and are insulating. Now I've done this on a piece of test sheet metal and ran it for a total of one minute and uh, found that the depression that I get was about a thousandth of an inch, which is quite respectable. That's quite a bit of contrast. So if you have a nice high-powered laser, I suspect that you could get that deep. Oh, this is getting fairly hot, so I got to keep moving. Because I don't want to. If I get too hot, I'm going to start attacking the paper and the adhesive, and that's going to cause the, the image to break down, not be nice and crisp. Okay, so that's the easy part. The hard part is getting this label off of here without making a big mess. Let's see if I get lucky. Yeah, I did. Okay. Now I'm going to take some alcohol, clean that up. And there you have it. It's a high contrast, pretty high contrast. It's etched in, so if you were to run some paint in there, this is actually pretty shallow because uh, I didn't run it that long so probably a few tenths deep but uh, very durable and if you do run some dye or something in there I'm sure that it would give you a nice contrast so I've tried it on steel I've tried it on aluminum here's a sample of it on steel 
uh, there's your aluminum. Uh, here's another piece of steel. I tried some red nail polish. That didn't work real well. Um, but you get the idea. Uh, if you can cut the, uh, the mask and stick it on there, then uh, you can start etching symbols. Uh, I'm keeping it simple uh, with arrows and circles, uh, but if you're, if you're artful, then you can certainly start cutting out co more complicated masks. Uh, so I look forward to uh, what people can do, and I'd love to post what, uh, what comes out of their work. So that's all for now.